Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Skyblock. In the last episode we created these. Some power, uh, a capacitor and two of the basic machines that we're going to be using um, to go further up the tech tree. Um, in this episode we're going to be going through um, sorting out the lasers and the assembly table and this is going to be the lasers so I've already typed up laser up there and you're going to need diamantine electron tubes and you make those by putting five diamonds two redstone in the thermionic fabricator but what you need is you need those aren't actually your inventory, this is just like the pattern. You put them on the table here and that's what's required. And then you need liquid glass to get that going. Gotcha. Right, okay. Uh, so, just so happens we've got some glass panes here. will do it, yep. Might as well leave them there, might use them again. Um, and you get four of these tubes. And that will make your lasers. Um, but the lasers aren't good enough by themselves, you need an assembly table. And you need the subsidian here. Yeah, another diamond, another redstone, but you also need a diamond gear. You make a gold gear at the smeltery, and then four diamonds. As I say, it's pretty expensive early game, so get sifting that gravel um, early, and uh, hopefully you should get enough diamonds to make these. And can do is you can also make a chest as well. I think I've got one spare. Yeah, I have. And just for recording purposes sake. I don't know if you can put it at the front. You might be able to. up. Yep, they're receiving power. And uh, these can make chipsets at the very basic form. They make more complicated machinery um, as well, or machi uh, machin machinery parts. Um, and for the more complicated stuff, you're going to need more lasers. Uh, two, won't, two will cut it early game, but you're going to need to keep making more of these lasers as uh, the game goes on because uh, some of them will take ages to build with just two um, okie dokie so that's the laser done um, I think the next thing we just start looking at is at the basic level is a metal former as I said in the last episode the metal former will replace these uh, tools there and what I made earlier very blue Peter this. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get the metal format. And the metal format is part of um, Industrial Craft 2 mod. First off we need electronic circuit. So that's insulated copper wire. 
metal plate, two redstone, that will give that circuit there. So I'll put the circuit in. Uh, basic machine casing, yep, so we need an iron chip set. So you make the iron chip, chip set at the assembly table. And then this will give you two options. You can either make the redstone, or should just use a redstone. You just click on it, or you use the iron one. And we're going to be doing that. And then hopefully, you should start seeing. And when they go to blue lasers, they're at full power. If I was to stick four lasers on there, if I had enough, then this would be quicker. So while that's going, I can make some of the other parts. So I'm going to need a toolbox. So oh, I'm going to need two chests. Did I? In, yep, two toolboxes. Okay, what's next? Copper cable and a nine ingot to make the coils, and I need three of those. I have a feeling that I'm gonna not gonna have enough. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, I've got some more. Phew! Yeah. So all I have to do now is wait for that chipset to... Oh, it's nearly done. And if you click up here, it tells you how much RF it's taking from the power. So it's using up ATRF per tick, and it's usually per laser, so each laser would take up full TRF. Alright, that's it. And, yep, it does, it works. So it should just, it usually just pops out, but if you have a chest nearby, it goes straight into it. Right. And this will be used to make the basic machine casing. And voila! Lovely. Right. Um, with IC2 stuff, you're going to need something called the wrench. Um, just basically six bronze ingots. Which I just have. And what the wrench does, it lessens the chance of your um, metal former becoming just a basic machine casing when you break it with pickaxe. Well, you won't use a pickaxe. You would you'd be using the wrench. There's still a chance that it will become a basic machine casing, but it reduces it. Um, it reduces it even more if you build an electric wrench, but that's a little bit away down the tree. There's been many a time when I have used a pickaxe on my C2 machines and you just end up with this basic machine casing. It's frustrating. Oh, how I laugh. I'm not going to risk it in this video with the wrench. Um, because basically that's the video screwed then. Um, and with this now, you've got extruding, rolling, cutting, um, depending on what you need to make. 
So a rolling machine. So if I was to put three of these iron ingots now. It takes a few seconds. You can put upgrades to speed up and different other things. Um, give it other certain attributes or features. Almost done. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make a book out of this. Why not? Never know. Might need another one at some point. And that's the IC2, and I'm going to be using that to make. Um, oh, what are they called? Water wheel segment. Uh, no, it's not that. now. You can actually make these really thick uh, bars. No, maybe we'll go through this in the next episode um, on how to make it. I wasn't exactly prepared for that, uh, so apologies for that. But yeah, you're going to be needing to make these to make um, um, power the water wheel um, to increase your power, of which I'm going to be putting water wheel segments all along here. Um, yeah, and that's it for today. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're making a bit of progress now. Um, pretty much soon we'll be making stuff that will make sifting through heavy oaks a little bit more obsolete. Um, not so much of doing that and that grinding work all the time. Um, yeah, okay, so thank you very much for watching uh, again and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.